Hi, my name is Jennifer Stern from J Stern Designs, and I'm super excited to be joining Twin and Needle for their Focus on Fit event in April 2020. Lara and Lisa have put together two days of classes and workshops that will give you the confidence to sew flattering garments and undergarments for yourself. This event is appropriate for confident beginners and experienced sewists. Focus on Fit will be held on April 18th and 19th, 2020 at the Textile Center at 3000 University Avenue Southeast, Minneapolis, Minnesota. You can click the link below for more information about the location and the event. To kick off the event, we're going to have a presentation from Ditto Dress Forms. They make amazing dress forms that are basically a carbon copy of your body. They reflect things like your collarbone, shoulder blades, belly button, you know, all the, the curves that are unique to your shape. To create these dress forms, they take a 3D body scan of your entire body and they use those accurate measurements to create these dress forms. Now, the cool thing is you can use these measurements in your scan to actually get a dress form if you'd like to. But the other thing you can do with this information is use the measurements to create a master set of patterns for yourself. I'm very excited about this. I think it's a perfect way to kick off a Focus on Fit event. Now let's talk about the classes you're going to be taking. Laura's going to be doing a class teaching you how to make your new favorite pair of underwear. Um, this is really important because if you don't have underwear that fits, and I know I struggle in the stores to find um, underwear that I feel comfortable in, um, it's very distracting all day long, and worse, it can affect the look of your fitted garments. So you can see here I have a an envelope, and I'm really excited because Laura sent me three pairs of underwear so we can have a little sneak peek on what you're going to be working on in this class. So I'm going to open it right here on camera. Let me just, I'm going to cut it this way. All right, so let's look and see what's in here. I'm really excited. Ooh, look at how pretty. Okay, so let, let's start with, um, here, let me just start with one at a time. All right, let's look at this first pair is a hipster style with Eiffel Tower print, which is very cool. The two things I want to point out um, on this pair of underwear is how Laura finishes the leg opening and the waistline. The leg opening is... The fabric's turned under, and then the elastic is sewn flat on the inside. I love this. I haven't made any underwear for myself yet because I didn't like the, the bulk of folding the elastic over and having it encased in the fabric. I really like this technique. I think I may try this. I think it's a, a really nice, smooth way to finish the leg, and you'll have less show-through on, you know, when, if you're wearing them under your fitted pants. So I think this is really great. It looks like it's super comfortable. This elastic has a very nice smooth touch to it. Um, and similarly, on the waistband here, the top edge of the fabric is folded under and the elastic peeks out. So it's more of a treatment like a pico edge or a pico elastic. Um, and you can decide how much of the elastic you want peeking out from the top of the fabric. I think this is really cool, and I think it's it's going to be very comfortable. Now let's look at this um, black mesh pair. The side seam is moved toward the front, okay, to improve the fit, and in the back, the back leg opening or undercarriage edge was straightened, and that allows for a double layer. So this is actually a folded edge here, which I think is really cool because you'll have no show in the back. And it's got a center back seam. And then this is fold over elastic, but instead of folding it over, it's flat. And then the mesh is trimmed close on the inside. And this is nice and smooth and comfortable. And then 
The final pair, which I think is really very pretty, I'm excited to show the back of it right away because um, the same design where the back leg opening is straightened, you can use the scallop lace edge on the back. It, it makes a nice, fancy, lightweight um, pair of underwear. It's very pretty. Again, it's got that forward seam. So those are the things you're going to be working with Laura on to make these beautiful underwear. I'm really excited about the hipsters. I'm going to try that. All right, so in addition to Laura's undergarment class, I'm going to be teaching three of my favorites. The first one is the Happy Pants non-stretch pants fitting. I'm really excited about this because I've developed three different patterns that will fit depending on where you carry your fullest hip, whether it's high, average, or low. And that really is, I think, the biggest determination or the biggest factor on the shape of your crotch. So the cool thing is we're going to take measurements, we're going to look at your shape, we're going to use that information to decide which style pants you're in, and then you get to try on muslins in a pants pattern that's designed for your shape. So based on the fit of that muslin, we'll make some fine-tuned adjustments to your pattern, and then you're going to make your own custom fit muslin. And once you have your muslin on, we'll look at that and make any other adjustments we need. But at the end of the day, you'll have a pattern that is ready to sew your own um, non-stretch pants. Then I'm going to be teaching two half-day classes, and these classes are really cool because they give you the tools to change the size and shape of your pattern in two different ways. The first one is pattern grading for the home sewer. This ruler is going to be make it very easy for you to grade your pattern up or down a size or two. You know, we'll talk about how commercial patterns size up and down and the difference between sizes. Then I'm going to show you how to do that yourself. And just to make it manageable for this class, I have these half scale pattern pieces. We're going to be working with a bodice, a sleeve, and a pant leg. And the workbook has step-by-step -step instructions. It's detailed. So when you go home, if you forget or if you need reminders, you can just follow this workbook step-by-step. And then the last class I'm going to be teaching is how to make a non-stretch pattern for stretch fabric. I get this question all the time when I'm teaching fitting classes. People, you know, may be working on a non-stretch pants, for example, and they'll say, well, can I make it out of stretch fabric? The answer is yes and no. You can see here, this is a princess seamed side front piece. The outer line is the non-stretch shape. The inner line is for 25% for stretch, and you can see that in addition to it getting narrower, it's also getting shorter. I just want to quickly show you the top that I made using that pattern piece so you can see how it turned out. This is the non-stretch version. It's a linen, and then I used the adjusted piece to make this knit version, and I'm just going to stick it right on top here so you can see. You know, it's shorter and narrower, but it has a similar fit through the bust. So we're going to use the workbook with the step-by-step -step instructions to adjust a non-stretch pattern for stretch fabric. So you'll have all of that practice. You'll have your sample to take home. So you'll be ready to do that when you need to at home. Um, I think this entire weekend is going to inspire you and give you confidence to sew your own flattering garments. Um, I'm super excited to be participating, um, teaching at this event with Laura and Lisa. I hope you'll join us. If you have any questions, please let us know, and I hope to see you at Focus on Fit in April.